So today I'm going to show you how to build your own sound box from home DIY style. You're going to need some PVC pipe. You can cut this depending on the size that you want for your box. If you're going to need a box that's going to be big enough to fit you and a guitar, meaning you don't have a line in somewhere through your computer, I would recommend getting a longer piece. This is what I started out with. This ended up being bigger than I needed because my guitars actually go right into my computer so I get clear sound that way but if you're just trying to do vocals you can go smaller than this it just depends on the size that you want you'll need eight of these total you're gonna need eight pieces of this or this depending on what the size of your holes are and then you're gonna need four long pieces of PVC you probably can't see the whole thing this is pretty tall. Mine started out at about seven foot. You definitely don't need something that tall. You just need something that's tall enough for you and so that your head is not sticking out above your box. Just measure your height, add a few inches, and you should be good. That should be the height of your vocalist box that you're building. So you're gonna need four of these, and these are gonna make up the walls of your box. Also, two more things that you're gonna need. I got two of these. These are packing blankets. You can get these at Home Depot or at Lowe's. I think I got mine at Lowe's. They're a little thicker material than most blankets that you would get. People use these to move, so you probably only need one depending on the size of the box that you're building. I started out with two and then I gradually moved to one because I just needed something that was small enough for me and a microphone. So depending on the size of your box will tell you how many of these that you need. You're also going to need some clips and these are going to help your blanket stay attached to what you're building. I also recommend that you get a few of these clothespins. This will help you keep the blanket together so that there's not any holes anywhere in your box so that you have a fully enclosed space. You want to try to keep all of the sound within the box. I think I have eight of these and then I use between 10 and 12 of these little guys just to hold everything in place. I also recommend, I got this at Ikea. This is a great, great addition to my sound box. If you put something on top of your box, which I ended up doing, you are going to need some sort of light in there because it can get quite dark, especially if you're reading lyrics. You're gonna need to be able to see. This has its own little clamp. I clamped this right onto the side of my sound box. It's really handy. It's got its own little switch here so you can leave it plugged in all the time and then just turn it on as you need it. It's got a nice long cord so it should reach the top of your box and I just like to clip it right on top. And so that way you can turn it on or turn it off whenever you're ready to use it. I also got this from Ikea. It had a really cute pattern on it and I really liked it. This actually was just a curtain. It has a few holes on the sides for your curtain rod. And then you can actually attach this right to your PVC pipe if you want, just to make it look pretty so it doesn't look like you have this big box in the corner. If you want to kind of decorate it a little bit, add to it by just adding a little bit of your own personality to it. That's all that you're going to need to do this. I'm going to go ahead and put up a list right here that's going to show you everything that you're going to need for this project. This is a little diagram of step one to build your vocal booth. Feel free to pause here if you need it for reference. And now I'm going to move on to show you the box itself. All right, so this is the completed box after we made adjustments. Just to give you measurements, and I'm gonna leave this also in the description somewhere in a PDF. This is three foot by two foot, and that's the top and the bottom. And then these are six foot tall. I am five foot six, so this is the perfect height for me. You might want to go up or down depending on how tall you are. 
As you can see, I can back up. You could probably still fit two people in here a little crowded. If you're really cramped for space. Yeah, you could probably do it sideways. So you can still get away with it. It wouldn't be as comfortable as the bigger box, but you could definitely do it. So if you're in a smaller apartment, don't be discouraged. I mean, this still will work for you. I'm gonna show you how to put this together now. Let's get started. Here's a diagram of step two, where we add the packing blankets and light and clips. Again, feel free to pause here for your convenience. And now I'm going to move on to a time lapse of us finishing the build. dollar in my pocket and a week till I get paid counting change from an empty jar seems like that's all I do these days I get a this is the final product with everything on it depending on what you want to do with it there's all different things you could do with this I'm just giving you a rough idea of what you could do you have two entrances now you have one here and then you have one on the outside as well. So you could put this in a corner. Make sure that you get your mic close to your computer. I usually have my computer either right next to it and then connecting the cable to the microphone through the back here or the computer is on this side and I've connected it this way as well. One more thing I wanted to show you guys with the little light guy. Like I said, this has a clamp on it and it's movable. You can do pretty much whatever you want with it. We use them for a lot of different things, but this is definitely one of my favorite ways to use it. So I clamped it to the smaller pipe that just kind of helped it stay in place better. And that just goes right down into your sound box and then you can turn it on with the switch and that way you can read your lyrics <laughs> if you need to look at lyrics and record. I uh, just wanted to show you that. I think total including this it came to just under a hundred dollars. I think the piping and the blankets were like 80 and then these curtains were like 20. It's a lot cheaper than buying a bunch of those sound boards however if you have the money to do that obviously that's probably the better route i've never tested this versus that but i know that this works if you're just starting out and you're looking to get yourself started this is a really great diy way of building your own vocalist booth i have some examples of how i've used this sound box myself I'm going to leave links in the description below for you so that you guys can click on those. That will take you to an album that I just recently released. All the vocals that you hear on that album were recorded in this booth, actually. So it'll give you a good idea of how it sounds. There was mixing involved and obviously mastering involved too, which is a whole another story. But all the vocals that you hear came out of this booth. So I hope that that kind of gives you an idea of the kind of sound that you can get with something like this. I'll sit around and watch the lemons dry. You'll come around this time, I swear Perhaps you'd be inclined to catch up Or getting lost in sentimental cares Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out the two videos you see. One of them is just giving an introduction to an album that I just recently released on iTunes. And the other one is the unveiling of the physical copy of my first album. If you would like to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest, definitely check out the description below. I have all those links for you. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.